With almost the whole world in lockdown, myself and the Syrup team are all working from home. And as creatives, sometimes it feels like there is not much we can do to help. We can't help with the medical side, but what we can do is entertain and lift the spirits while people are stuck inside. So at Syrup, we teamed up with Manfrotto and Joby to launch a free film festival that would reward creativity under constraints. Create a one to five minute short film entirely in isolation, and you could be in to win over 20K in prizes. I thought I would create an entry too, so here's how to create a short film by yourself at home. So I decided to make a short film about the prettiest girl I know, my dog Nori, who comes inside during lockdown and falls in love with the dog next door. I wrote out the story, made a quick shot list in Excel. Now that everything's planned out, it's time to get into shooting. So for the opening shot of the film, I want Nori to come into the kitchen, look out the window and see the other dog. Now obviously this isn't possible because outside my window are a bunch of other houses and trees, not another house and a window that a dog just happens to be in. So we're going to achieve this using some simple colour keying. Now before the lockdown, I didn't manage to grab a green screen, but I did get a large piece of red seamless paper. It could be any solid colour as long as it's lit evenly and it's not the same colour as something else in your scene. For this we want to make sure we suspend it far enough from the window to reduce the colour spill we're going to get on Nori to also make sure we get a little bit of blur on it which is going to make keying easier and also so that it's evenly lit. When we get into post we're going to use key light and after effects just to remove all of the red and then we're going to put in our other back plate which is Matt's dog that he's filmed at his house. Now for this shot I want some push-in and some parallax. A digital zoom isn't really going to cut it here so what I'm going to do is use the Syrup Magic Carpet Pro with the Genie Linear 2 and then set that to a bounce back mode. This is going to mean that my camera is effectively controlling itself and I can focus on getting Nori to look out the window and get a good expression from her. So once I pull this all together in post, we have a shot that sets up our world and also sets up the problem for the story that our protagonist Nori has to overcome. So for the second act, Nori tries to bake a bunch of cupcakes to get the other dog's attention. And for this, we're gonna try to get some really classic food shots. We're gonna do this by using two C stands and an extra knuckle, then attaching a spigot in there in the middle where it's at its strongest, and then putting a Manfrotto ball head on top of that, which will hold our camera at that 90 degree angle. The mounting is pretty simple, but what really makes this shot pop is the lighting. You could go for a classic top-down look, but that's going to be pretty flat and boring with shadows that sort of fade into the background. But I want this to feel like we're shooting in a nice big warm kitchen with the light coming through a window. I'm going to use one of the Gemini 1x1 light panels, and then we're going to use a softbox to give us that soft light. Instead of putting it directly above, we're going to put it at 45, and this is going to cast a nice shadow across our surface, giving it a little bit more depth. Then obviously, because I'm making it look like my dog is actually cooking it, I'm going to do a step, hold the dog up so she just pops her paws on and looks at it, and get the shot then. So the biggest challenge of my short film was working with this little pal here who very much does not want to do what I wanted to do most of the time. My tips for managing this are to use clean plates really cleverly and also just to sit up and wait for your dog to do what they naturally do. So by taking the original shot with the dog and then me holding a toy or some food, I can get her to look exactly where I want to and then I go back and take the exact same shot but with no one in it and that way I can just mask around and remove me from the shot. It's these simple invisible VFX shots that really make a short film like this possible. By the end of shooting, I realized it was a lot easier to set up a shot, set up the camera, set up my lighting, and put down her bed or something like that and wait for her to do what she's naturally gonna do, rather than try coerce her to do that with food or telling her to sit. This way, I could get a wider range of emotions from the dog, like when she's happy at the end or when she just wakes up. With all the editing done and some great music from the composer, this is my entry into the Four Walls Film Festival. Like the rest of the world, we are facing the potential for devastating impacts from this virus. Now is the time to put our plans into action. That's why effective immediately, we will move to alert level three nationwide.
Now that you've seen how I made my entry, you should make your own film for the Four Walls Film Festival. Create a one to five minute short film completely in isolation and you could be in to win over 20K of gear. Head to fourwallsfilm.com for more info or click the link in the description below.